Hello, today we are going to make a very quick lunch or dinner for a busy family. I'm going to make the marinara pasta uh, on top, you know, to season my pasta with. Uh, I am going to make a grimolada, very simple, to go on top. Uh, the pasta is already cooking, so while that is cooking, I am going to focus on making my sauce. I have some cut tomatoes and some tomato sauce and I have some parmigiano reggiano, some heavy whipping cream and lemon and of course garlic. So I start by chopping my garlic and I gather everything in the middle. Here I really like parmesan, parmesan cheese to be from parmigiano reggiano so you know when the brand is here that means it's the real one. I'm going to grind some of this and leave it here for two purposes which I'm going to explain. The grimolada is going to look like this, the end result, but I'm going to explain how we are making it. I start with a generous amount of olive oil. I'm going to heat up the pan and add the garlic. We don't want burnt garlic, so we are very careful not to burn our garlic. In the meantime, I'm infusing it with garlic oil. Get in the action. Because I'm explaining I don't want to burn it. So. Okay. As soon as my, to my garlic is starting to be golden, because again, we really don't want to burn it. As soon as it starts sizzling and turning some parts of it turning golden, we are adding our tomato and the sauce and we're turning it down a little bit so it sizzles. At this point I'm adding some Italian seasoning and I let the tomatoes soften. In order to do that we can also put the lid on and let it get softer. If you just do with tomato sauce, you don't need to do this extra step because I like to incorporate fresh tomatoes in it. I'm going to let it sit for a while. In the meantime, I come here and al dente means to the toot. So I grab one of my pastas and it doesn't matter what shape or form. and I break it. When you see this white soft rim on your pasta, that usually means it's not yet cooked. You don't want to overcook it to get it all mushed up, but you don't want to undercook it either. And what you want to do is have something here, a sieve to have the pasta go through, but Let's go back here and see how we're doing. Looking good. Now, in a lot of uh, Italian-American places or American recipes, in order to alleviate the acidity of the tomato, they add sugar, they add even sugar or corn syrup to the ketchup. But, what I do to soften that, I add a little bit of cream and that cream, believe it or not, A makes the color really nice, like salmon-y color and B takes that acidic taste. Now we can season it to taste. You can add a little bit. If you're making it for kids, no, but you know, if you're doing it for adults, you can add a little bit of chili flakes. And I want to try to see how the salt action is. We need definitely more salt. So, I add never too much because remember, there is salt also in the water here. 
So we let that go and I think we must be okay here. So I take it off the heat. The white is gone, so it's good. Now we're gonna come here and do the grimolada. This is beautiful baby parsley and we got it from Chino Farms. And this is a clean lemon. I just take a little bit of the zest and then I layer it. I put my garlic, I put my sel, sea salt, my sel de maldon, like a really good salt to draw out the and by layering it, what I do, I finely chop. I wish you were here and you could smell just what's going on with the flavor sears. At this point, I incorporate a little bit of Parmesan on top of this. This is the base for the grimolata and this is the umami. This is going to add so much flavor to my pasta that you can just make a simple pasta with butter, just pasta, butter, and add that on top. It just takes it to a whole different level. Here, I take my pasta. We always want a little bit of liquid, okay? Because I want to add this to that sauce. This point is, you see that? What we're going to do, we're going to add Our parm, our beautiful parm, the grimolada, and it's beautiful for the eye as well as for the palate. Okay, so to plate it, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Parmigiano Reggiano, a little bit of parsley, and then a little drizzle of olive oil. Buon appetito!